morning everybody welcome back to my channel um i thought in this video today i would just do a quick check-in on my goals for 2018 if you haven't seen the first vlog that i made this year then i will put a link to it below um and i sort of shared in there some of the goals that i set myself for the year um and i kind of decided at the last minute to do um just a monthly check-in because to give me a little bit more accountability rather than me just sort of saying oh these are my goals and then coming back at the end of the year to say oh I've done this or I haven't done that I thought I'd just come in once a month and sort of have a chat about how they're going and if I'm still doing them or if I've given up any or that sort of thing so if you are new here and you haven't seen my videos then I'm Polly I would love it if you'd hit the subscribe button if you haven't already um, and anyway, so yeah, I want to talk about my goal. So the big goal for me this year is learning to drive. And I kind of hope to have done my theory by the end of January. And I just haven't got around to it. I have got the app on my phone and I've been studying a little bit, but not as much as I should. And I kind of realised last week when I was reading a book that I still got this little bit of a voice in my head that says I can't do it and that I'm not going to be any good. And I think that's what's kind of holding me back. So I kind of just need to give myself a push on that one I think um maybe just spend this week reading through all the info on the apps that tells me it's the proper DVLA theory test app I don't know what it's called exactly um but it's got all of like the high rate code and the things you need to know as well as like mock tests and um like the hazard perception and stuff so I think that what I want to do really on that one now is to spend this week doing some reading read as much as I can of all the high rate codes so I can begin to understand it because I have done a few mock tests and I normally only fail by about two points um, and the things I'm failing on are generally just things um, that are a little bit more technical to do with cars so most of it I kind of already know so I just need to brush up a little bit and practice and then maybe I'm thinking this time next week just book my test for like a couple of weeks time so I have to practice and I've actually just done it because I really really do want to learn to drive um and there's just something inside me that's sort of telling me that I'm not going to be any good or I'm not going to do it and I, I don't know what it is that's holding me back so I kind of haven't really progressed on that one although I really it is just like my biggest thing this year that I need to do um other goals that I was doing one was to keep a daily gratitude journal which I have been doing um this is my daily journal da, da, da. um and i've been doing it every day so the first one i did was the 5th of january and i filled it in every single day um and it is great i've actually got the kids do one in the morning as well now kiki and Bayer, they have a little notebook and they just have to write three or four things down that they're grateful for every morning um and i tend to do 10 every day sorry i've got a really itchy eye um but it's fantastic the first few days are really hard of trying to think of things i could write or things that were different but sort of the more i've done the easier it's got and you know the more you look for things that you're grateful for the more things you see that you're grateful for and the more you notice and you know it does have a huge impact on just how you feel about yourself and about your life and just realizing that while things might not be perfect that I have a huge amount of stuff to be grateful for and thankful for and I'm actually really lucky and I have an amazing life really so actually, I'm, I'm really pleased that I'm keeping that one up and that's one thing that I actually intend to just keep up for the whole year I hope um vlogging here I am um so one of my goals was to vlog again this year I kind of hadn't vlogged for about 18 months before I started in the beginning of January um and I kind of vlogged a little bit before that but I never felt overly comfortable and I always felt a bit stupid I suppose and a bit awkward I don't know what it is this time I just did that first one and it doesn't really bother me I can just sit here and chat now and I'm not really fussed anymore so for the last few weeks sort of since beginning of January I've been vlogging at least twice a week I tend to do just a weekly dear diary chat on a saturday which is just a little popping in to say hello with a cup of tea and talking about what i've done in the week and i've been putting up different vlogs then on a wednesday in the middle of the week so this week's one was uh, what's in my vegan pantry and i will put a link to that as well if you haven't seen it one yet please go and have a little look at what we eat and what i keep in my pantry and i'm actually really really enjoying vlogging and i kind of keep thinking of other ideas and things that i want to do so I'm really really pleased at how well that's got off and how 
I kind of have just done it, um, which goes in with one of my other goals, which was to step out of my comfort zone, which I'd kind of put off vlogging again for so long because I felt a bit awkward and the first one did feel a little bit funny but once I'd done one it was fine I was like actually I don't know what I was worried about and I kind of you know totally just stepped out of my comfort zone and I've done it and put it out there and it was all okay so I'm really pleased with that um what else did I have for goals so books you might have seen my book my book my vlog on Monday which was just talking about the books that I'd read in January so I set a goal for 2018 of reading at least 12 fiction books, aiming for one a month, because last year I think I might have read one fiction book, maybe two through the whole year, I don't know, it was appalling actually how little I did read. Um, and I love reading, I don't think there's anything better than just getting lost in a really good book. So I read four books in January and I have already read one fiction book this month for February, so I'm pretty pleased with how that's going as I'm nearly halfway through what I set as my goal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I think I may smash that one completely. Um, a couple of my other goals were sort of like fitness based. So there was also fitness health based. So there was doing a daily plank challenge, drinking more water, um, taking part in a 5k and sticking with the BBG program. So BBG is Beach Body Guide I think and it's an app called the Sweat app that I have on my phone. It's one you have to pay for and it's like £15 a month but I figured that I wanted some kind of a bit more guide and a bit more direction than I was having before of just like making up as I went along with exercise so it was sort of cheaper than paying for a personal trainer or anything like that um, and I am um, on week four now um, I actually did the first week a few times because I knew that they were starting um, a community challenge on the 15th of January so I repeated the first week because I actually realized that although I did quite a lot of exercise I hadn't done as much of the like the resistance training especially as they have in this program so I just repeated that that week for a few times until this community challenge that loads of people are doing together so now I'm on week four and it is really hard and I've heard I've had lots of messages from other people who said that they've done it and dropped out after a few weeks and I can totally understand why because it is a bit of a killer um so basically each week you've got three cardio sessions, three resistance sessions, um, you have a whole a rest day and then you need to do like a recovery session when you've got like you know, foam rolling and stretching and things um, and they also have a weekly challenge. So I normally run, I do the cardio on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays um, and at the first sort of six weeks it suggests you just do like low intensity stuff although because I've been actually training for longer I normally do a couple of just like low intensity and then one hit workout as well each week and then Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays I do their resistance training so you have an abs session and no sorry arms and abs session a full body and a leg session so I do those and then they also give you a challenge which this week's challenge was like um, a 600 rep ab challenge so this morning I've done the arms and abs and then the 600 ab, 600 rep ab challenge so I'm a little bit tight but I'm really enjoying it it's quite a challenge you get two circuits on the resistance training and you have to do like however many reps of, each of the four exercises you can in the time given and I do find at the minute I'm still having to take some extra breaks and pause a little bit to keep going but it's really good and I feel great afterwards and it is hard work but I'm determined to stick through it and just sort of see I've been taking progress pictures each week which I will share at some point the first few to see if I notice any difference um I mean as I was already exercising a lot last year and I was um still eating pretty healthily I don't expect huge changes in that I'm not looking to lose weight or anything like that obviously in fact probably slightly the opposite um but I can feel sort of difference in muscle tone and things which is my big goal really I suppose with it and fitness levels um 5k I'm still planning to run one at some point I did actually have a few weeks of going out for a run outside because I normally work out inside and I normally do the cardio on my cross trainer because obviously if the kids are about I can just do that first thing in the morning um, and I went out for a few, a couple of weeks of doing runs and I did a couple on my own of longer runs and a couple of runs with Kiki and Bea running with me and Beastie in the push chair. I've actually had a couple of weeks break because I don't know if it was the way that I was running or just the fact that I ran a lot along in a distance ways and I'm not used to running outside but I had, my knees hurt for a little bit but then like the bones into my shins and they all felt bruised so I've got, I mean I've got proper running shoes and I just don't know if it was the way I was running or, or what. So they've been fine now for the past week and I kept working out inside when 
they were hurting and it was okay on the cross trainer so I think I'm going to try again at some point to go out and just really focus on my technique because maybe it needs a little bit of perfecting um but I'm definitely aiming to do at least one 5k this year I mean I've got no desires to do like marathons and stuff um and I know like running outside especially lots of running is one of probably one of the worst things I've been told you can do for your face because it makes it sad but I will do one at some point this year um I'm probably going to look for doing something that I can do with at least one of the kids because they're both quite keen to join me so that will probably be like in the summertime because I'm not quite dedicated enough to go out right now when it's freezing cold and wet then daily plant challenge I have been adding that in so I do normally like just five minutes every day um and I just do it after my exercise session incorporating it in to whatever I've been doing anyway and drinking more water I'm not doing the best job on that the first week or two I did because I was using this pure plan detox stuff in my water so I had a litre and a half bottle made up in the morning with this in it and I drank it all every day and it was great so I think what I need to do is buy myself a big bottle um that I can fill up first thing in the morning and have to get through it because I otherwise have a tendency to drink lots of cups of tea all day long and not actually any water or very little I always have a glass of water with like lunch and with dinner but not anywhere near enough so that goal definitely needs a bit more working on um as a goal what did I have so I had to write a letter every month so I have written one letter back to a pen friend who I have a new pen friend I have two or three new pen friends actually which I'm really really pleased about so I have written my first letter and I actually have two more that I need to write very soon to send out so that one's off to a good start um, learning to crochet is another goal and I haven't actually picked my crochet hooks up yet so I'm going to have a go but I have got friends coming to visit at the end of March and my friend crochets so I am going to get her to give me like a little starter lesson because I have done a little bit in the past but one I get frustrated because I can knit quite well so I know I can pick my knitting needles up and make something whereas obviously with crochet I've got to start from the beginning and be able to learn but also when I've done it I'm not entirely sure that I'm doing it exactly right like you know putting the hook into the right places in the chain when I've made it so I just want to sit with somebody and just make sure I'm starting right because I don't want to learn bad habits from the beginning um what else did I have so I've got my cheat sheet here of my of my goals one social media free day each week I'm doing fairly well on that um I normally pick Sundays because generally Sundays are my sort of just lazy day at home three little kids are sometimes out with their dad that day depending um it's my rest day from my workouts so i've been just trying to stay offline that day um and it's nice it's good to have a day just to step away from the online world and just be totally immersed in real life writing a book was another one and publishing it so i am um, i have kind of like got two books in the works um but i've picked the one that's gonna probably be like a shorter book first so I may be like a third of the way through writing it. I've got, I had like half of it draft written. So I've been going through and topping that up and sorting it out. So it's basically a kind of self-exploration, journaling kind of book. So I'm sort of giving myself like maybe to sort of like the end of April, May time to have it written in a first draft. Um, and I kind of need to investigate whether I'm going to self-publish it or whether I'm going to try and get it published by someone else. I don't really know where to start on all of that. So if you've got any pointers, please let me know because I haven't got a clue where to begin. Um, painting more was another goal and I actually had a session in on Wednesday. I started a canvas like before Christmas and I painted the background and I had varying ideas in my head of what it was going to be. But anyway, Wednesday I managed to, I think it was Wednesday... I don't know I snuck into the den for like an hour um and managed to kind of sketch out what I was going to do and make a little start on that so that was really nice kind of painting is just a hobby and it's kind of not a top priority but I know I enjoy it so I do definitely need to carve out more time for that um and I think the key for that one for me will be just carving out more time when the little kids especially at least Beastie and Bayer say are painting or doing some art type activity that I can just sit alongside them and do my painting because that would be a really good way of just fitting in even just like an hour a week or something like that um did I have anything else uh, 
that was kind of the main ones. I've got things like, you know, spending more time with friends and spending more time in nature. We haven't been out in nature that much mainly because it's just been so cold and wet. And also when I can drive, it will be so much easier just to go places. We see friends quite a lot now. Um, although the last week we've been a bit of a hermit because I've had poorly kids, so we've just kind of been home. But other than that, I think really that was most of the bits. And be debt free was one of my goals, so I'm trying to work on that. I haven't got very much debt, really, but the little bit I have, I'm just trying to get cleared off through this year so that I'm just on an even keel, basically. So I think all in all, I'm kind of really pleased with how my goals are going this year. There's a few that obviously need work, you know, drinking water and then to drive I need a little bit of a kick to actually get those ones going. But for the most part, I am kind of being fairly consistent in that. I started my goals and I'm keeping them up, which I know we're only like five or six weeks into the new year, but I'm off to a really good start. And I know I'm a massive creature of habit. So if I get used to doing something, and it just becomes like the gratitude journal. It's just what I do in the morning. I started doing it. I do it when I wake up in the morning with my cup of tea. So it's just, that's what I do. And once I've done it for a month or two, then I know it'll just be a normal thing to do. Um, so I'm going to pop back in in like a month's time, so end of February, beginning of March, just to have another check-in and see how I'm getting on with my goals. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.